Hi guys, I am Katie or KB Does Art and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to model a really simple spoon in Maya. Um, I haven't done this before so uh, I kind of like to do it with you guys um, just to keep myself on my toes. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and start. Um, I'm in the modeling menu set and then I'm going to go ahead and bring in a sphere to start us out. I'm going to go ahead and bring in a cube to start us out. So go ahead and click on polycube one over in our attribute editor. I'm going to make this guy a bit longer. Um, probably not as high because spoons aren't that deep. And then we're just going to add in some divisions. So maybe like 10 by maybe like four, eh, maybe like two would be good. Let's do two. And then we'll do like four down the middle. Okay, perfect. So now that we've got this, what we're going to do is let's go ahead and start with that handle. So go ahead and go into, um, let's do vertex mode. And then you're going to just select this bottom half of vertices, click R, and we're going to scale them in a bit and then just scale them up. All right. So we just get a little bit more of a handle type. And then um, for these guys, we're actually just going to form like the simple shape of a spoon. So I'm going to go ahead and click on one of the points and then double click on the next point. And then you can scale them however you need to. Um, I'm also going to select one of these guys. I want to move them down so they're a little bit closer to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and do that or just bring them in a bit. And then you can do that with each of them. I'm gonna go ahead and select this ring, click R and scale them up. And then you can do the same with this guy, just a tad, not too much scaling. And then select these guys, click W, move them up a tad, select this last row, click R, um, and then click W and just move them in. And then to kind of see how it's rounding out a bit, you can click three. So this is a pretty thick spoon. So I think what I'm gonna do, click one to go back. And I'm just gonna select these top vertices and just, actually we'll do it a different way. Go into object mode and just scale it down with R. All right, there we go, that's a bit better. Okay, sweet. So next thing we're going to be doing is I want to extrude this top face. So go into face mode, click Q, and then hold tab and select these faces on the top. Go ahead and do command E or control E and extrude them and then offset them by bringing them in maybe like 0.05, maybe 0.1 if you're feeling like you want a bigger lip on your spoon. Just be careful about overlapping down here. You don't want to go too far so that it goes in. You want to make sure they're separate. Go ahead and click W, push those guys in. And then if you want to make them smaller, you can click R and scale them. All right, I, uh, go ahead and click three to see how it smooths out. I want mine to go a little bit deeper, so I'm going to move mine down a little bit more. Don't go too far so that you go all the way through the mesh, but you've got a pretty far way that you can go. All right, there we go. Pretty good little lip. And then um, if you want to, you can select these vertices up here and kind of move them and scale them around um, to kind of be, you know, whatever width you want. Um, if you want it smaller or bigger, totally up to you. You can kind of play around with it. Um, you can also edit like where some of these bottom vertices are. So like if you want to pull in, that a little bit. And then let's see how that's looking. All right, sweet. So next thing we're gonna do is thin out this handle a little bit. So click one to go back, go to vertex mode. And we're gonna select these. Uh, let's go just to those guys right there. And then click W and you're just gonna push them up like that. Um, and then just for like added effect, I'm going to push them a little bit this way just so it gets like a cool little curve on it. You can push it a bit more if you want it to be even more drastic. 
totally up to you. Um, I also think that, let's see, check if your scaling's okay. I think that um, I could make the handle a little bit longer. So you can just go into vertex mode, select the vertices and pull them down a little bit. All right, so that's kind of the basic um, form of a spoon. You can do some other details, like I'm gonna select these guys, and just bring them down a little bit into that mesh, just to kind of give it that little like divot in that handle. Um, but yeah, that's about it. So that's a super simple spoon that you can make, um, just like if you need it to be sitting on like a table or something. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions about anything, totally feel free to leave a comment below. And um, I will hopefully be uploading a fork tutorial and a knife tutorial for you guys to see as well. So you have the whole little, uh, whole little cutlery set for you. <laughs> um, but yeah, thanks you guys so much for watching and uh, go check out my other tutorials on my channel. I post a ton of random stuff. So if you guys ever need anything, let me know and I will see you next time uh, when we are creating some more support. Bye guys.